Good day, class. Yesterday, we talked about an inquiry, uh, uh, the nature of inquiry. And uh, now, we will give you an overview of what is research is all about, okay? So, we already defined what research is all about, right? But, okay, for the benefit uh, to those who were absent yesterday, the word Research is a combination of the prefix re, which means do again. And the root word like search, which means to, to explore and investigate. So research is a continuous and repetitious pursuit of knowledge in order to arrive at the truth. So the question there is, what is research? Um, research is the acquisition of new knowledge through a purposive, organized, and designed program of activities. It seeks to find the answer to the problems and generate new information for a better understanding of the concepts under study. So research may either be basic or applied depending on the aims of the researcher. So for example, if we say basic research is conducted solely to come up with a new knowledge or to have a fuller understanding of a particular subject for its own sake, while on the other hand, applied research is done to find an application of the knowledge, whether it be old or new. So now let's talk about the aims of the research study. So the aims of the research study class is first, it produces new knowledge of information. That means the data of, or information that we have today of course, it's a product of the constant research for significant facts and continuation investigation through the years. While the second aim of research is we call it utilize new knowledge, which means um, knowledge should be applied and must not remain stagnant. So the application of knowledge could yield other facts. And number three, uh, validate existing knowledge, which means Validation of an existing knowledge is necessary in order to render it credible and reliable. And last, we have improved the investigator or researcher. That means our initial failures and frustration sometimes in doing research could provide opportunities for growth and help improve himself or herself in the process. Now, let's talk about the sources of research topic. These are various sources of the topics uh, for research, like the people, place, objects, and events around us, and the community we live in are rich sources of research topics. So for people, we have scientists, educators, students, businessmen, politicians, doctors, lawyers, farmers, housewives, priests, soldiers, and administrators. And of course, for places, you can also choose laboratory, school, classroom, forex, session hall, clinic, court of justice, uh, rice field, house, church, barracks, and office. And of course, for objects, you can choose a specimen, books, notes, um, contract, bills, medicine, documents, plants, clothes, Bible, ammunition, uh, reports, or presentation. And for events, you can also choose experimentation, um, graduation, exam day, product lunch, in session, check up, case hearing, harvest session, wash day, Eucharist Eucharistic celebration, pass and review, and of course, we have the BOT meaning. So, there are, other, um, there are other what we call possible research areas that you may also consider, like for example, computer science, energy conversion, folk literature, food processing, uh, food preservation, health and wellness, herbal medicine, history and culture, humanities, information technology, language, music, uh, pollution control, product development, sports or uh, theater arts. So those are the things that you have to consider. By the way, class, that's the only lesson that we have for today, and I'm expecting you to watch it. All right, bye for now, and thank you.